Don't mind me if I just steal these cows. Don't ask what I'm doing with them. It's none of your business. I'm just moving them somewhere else. <laughs> Monarchy time. And I've just unlocked myself another diplomacy slot. Look at this. That is a straight up government. You love it. You love to see it. Uh, natural philosophy. Yes. Scripture. Yes. Colonization. Yes. Republican legacy. Yes. We like all of that. But that's not it. We can have more now. There's extra influence points. Good. What else do we need? What do we need in our empire that would be good? Plus one amenity for cities with a garrisoned unit could be fun. Uh, extra production towards mm, boats. Some boaty boys would be fun. And limes? No, we're using the letter for that, so that's not a problem. Conscription. Yeah, not, not hugely important, but divine rights not where I'm going to stop. I'm going to go all the way through to Reformed Church. That's where I want to finish. That's the best place for me. World Congress time as well, and I saved myself up 10 points so I can actually do voting as needed. Because I would like culture bombs. Thank you. Means I can steal some stuff from city-states, potentially, and great... Let's go for great profits, but we'll see if that goes through. If I do get bonus great profit points, it means that, uh, oh, no great profit points. Him Damn, I was always going to go through anyway. It just meant that I was going to get more faith per turn, because remember, excess profit points get stacked. I think I was earning like 20 profit points per turn. It's quite a lot, so that would have been quite useful, but never mind. Another time. Oh yeah. Yeah, sorry about this. This is, this is hilarious. I think they keep getting grievances with me for doing this. Yeah, used Anansai against you. I'm sorry. I just like your stuff. It's really handy. Um, Bologna. No, no, no. You get back here, you. I don't want that. You're staying on side. They just declared war on someone. Don't be like that. We're, we're peace corner down here. It's all we do. We are, we are the peaceful crew. I think actually with this temple, I should get to... Yeah, over 100 science by turn 91. We are currently third in science behind only Scotland and mystery player. Who this mystery player is, we're not sure. We will just guess that it's probably somebody from Scooby-Doo. Ottomans, nine cities, 36 population. That's cool. Okay, they're doing good. They are doing good. Have you got anything for me to trade with you? Not really. I'll give you open borders. Sometimes you like that. Oh, do I really have to give you all that? Okay. That's better. Germany. Oh, six cities to the good as well. So they seem to have found some space on this map. Not the Strategy biggest space, required. but some space. That's good. Oh, now I've lost Geneva. Goodness me, keeping these city-states on side, I think, is going to be tricky this game. But once we get the owls going with lots and lots of harbours, we should start to laugh. Feudalism. Perfect. Right, let's get serfdom in quickly. That would give me the two extra builders whenever I settle a city. I think I quite like that one. I mean, campus adjacency is doing pretty well. Holy site adjacency is useful because I'm using that faith to put everything else back in. Settlers I'm using? Republican legacy? Ugh, I feel like Republican legacy. I'm going to have to get rid of that one. I might regret doing that, but nope. At the moment, all my cities are still happy. Plus seven, plus seven. Plus six. Oh no, what's going to happen is I'm going to settle this one now and it's all going to go horribly wrong. So we'll, we'll let this one work itself out. So in Avignon, I can still... Oh yeah, look. One city. One city is no longer ecstatic. I think it probably is this city. No, it's not. Is it Rome? No. Which city is it? Oh, Castel. I kind of want Castel to be happy, so that's a bit of a problem. So I removed the thing I was producing to chop the forest, which meant that now I can stack that against the new tile. Again, I'm, I'm sacrificing a little bit of adjacency in order to get it on the coast so that I get the plus two amenities and plus two housing. It makes a huge difference. It's lovely. Oh, for goodness sake, now Venice has been taken. Ugh. Fine. I'm going to start sending trade routes to these now. Oh, because I have owls. That's the thing to remember. I can get three trade routes by sending them to city-states. That's not a bad thing. And this will bank we're not a million miles away from now. That would help a lot. Getting roads down though, now that is something I do need to do because at the moment I am finding it very difficult to navigate around. I think we have to prioritise road creation, don't we, to get my settlers up and about, so we'll do that. Poland, eight cities, again, not the best in the game, but still doing very well. Although, looks like they stole Germany city and they're now going to have to give it back. Oh, that's a good road. Yeah, all along the coast. It's worth doing that for food and two production as well. Yeah, I want to send my trade routes to city-states. That is something that I really don't want to neglect. But when you have routes like that, you have to go for them. Oh yeah, look at these trades as well. 
our economy is still up and running. You can see we've only got six happy cities now because some of these trades have expired. Let's just get these luxuries back in. Two ecstatic already. There we go, all six ecstatic. It helps a lot. I also now have the money to get myself a university plus eight science up to 130. Of course I am, sure. Just spreading my religion to this city gives me I have 132 science to 140. That's eight extra science because, of course, I'm getting my science from my beliefs. Only seven from my beliefs, actually. That's from the cross-cultural dialogue. It's the heretic script that's giving me the huge bonus there. you got to love it. You have to love it. Spread Catholicism to Ferrara. Huzzah! That gives me up to 130 science by turn 100. Yep, this game had just a little, little SimCity beginning to the game, but we are getting ourselves there. Don't you worry, we're going to fight ourselves out of Italy at some point. There's still a lot of settling to do. We're still producing these settlers. We've got them going out in all different directions, but the world will know. It will understand the true joy of being Zipope. <laughs> we'll get there, don't you worry. Now, Alan I kind of deliberately left alone because I was like, there we go. Now we have a relic. It's good fun, really. Don't mind. Don't mind if I lose Alan Oh, interesting. One of my cities has halted growth. It's this city. It's actually very useful. You can kind of scan up to the top and go, oh, what's missing? What's missing? A granary. There we go. You see? It works well. Still getting things like temples, 155 science now, up to 105 faith per turn. Guilds, that's a good one for us because now it unlocks reformed church and that is the government that I've been waiting for. It's a goodie. I think it's time to get my first harbour in. I need more trade routes. I need them desperately. I need to get my city-states back under line because I am losing influence with quite a few of them at the moment. Brussels, Amani will get assigned to next turn. That'll give me a bit more visibility up there. I'm looking forward to that one a lot. Spain got Sinbad. Good for you. Oh, they're going to be doing so much exploring. I'm jealous, really. They did just attack the barb rather than using the action charge, which I always find slightly frustrating when they do that, but that's okay. I won't, I won't, I won't complain too loudly. I promise. There's Brussels though. Gives me access to a little bit more of the land to the north, but again, we're not, not seeing huge amounts of the map that I can get too excited about right now. Lonia has just been taken from me again. Again. <laughs> You can hear the flatness of my voice as I'm just like, oh, for goodness sake. Never mind. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm just trying to build some more housing in this city. Uh, they keep sort of falling away. My entire economy is still basically being powered by the selling of my diplomatic favor, which is quite enjoyable as well. One of my cities is no longer happy. Is it Rome? No, it's not. Oh, it's down here. Well, that's unfortunate. I want my cities to be happy. I wonder what sort of buildings I could get. If I if I got a stupas in, would that help me a little bit? Yeah, they haven't been claimed just yet. So, so, that's possible. That's possible. We'll get Reformed Church next turn, and then we can buy with faith cheaper. Not before, however. I found a new city in Ravenna. Towering Reformed Church. Time. Let's convert ourselves over. And don't forget, I got an extra... Diplomacy slot for doing that, which I love a lot. Okay, Republican Legacy still giving me the extra cards I want. Oh, I need that happiness. I need it. 14 extra science. Good. Holy Sight. Good. Serfdom. Good. Is that what I want though? Is there something else I could do? Settlers would be useful if I could get them, although building settlers doesn't have to be rushed to the same level at the moment. I could just focus on getting my cities a little bit better. Where is my... There's no amenities that I can pick up as well, so I think that's going to have to do for now. Yep, we'll leave it like that. Praetorium. Okay, our diplomacy cards are terrible. We need some better ones. A diplomatic service, missile banking, that will help a lot. So just using some gold here because I can actually rush through Himiko, which I just find amazing. Six turns away from that. She would help me to keep pretty much every single city-state on side, which would make a big difference. It helps me to get more faith in, helps me to get my other heroes in. It's it's a big deal. If we can pull this off, I'd be very happy. Oh, actually, I can recall Hercules as well. That's useful. That lets me... I could probably save him for getting myself the harbours involved. Let's do that. Yeah, actually, that's really handy. So we've got nine turns on this harbour. Let's just go rush it through. I, I just need the trade route. Choppy chop. Oh, one turn. One turn from glory. There is the harbour. Rushed. Okay. Okay. Lighthouse. Done. Extra trade route. Done. 
What, where, where and what? what? What needs the growth? I'd like Rome, ideally, to have a harbour. That would be cool. I'd also like this city to get uh, a workshop. I think the workshop has got to be the bigger priority here. So I will get the trader in this city. Good. So Bologna and Venice, we've both lost <laughs> at the moment, unfortunately. I really, really want that back. Oh be so good to get that back with Venna. Nice. Okay, that's really good. We'll get the shrine in one turn and then we'll go from there. Here she is. Here she is. Okay, get yourself quickly to Bologna. It's going to be fantastic for me. And Hercules as well. I need you to go to, let's go to this Ascotti city because we can get ourselves a commercial hub up here nice and quick. Trade route to Bologna. It's not going to give me a huge amount of gold, but that's not the point. It's the food and the production that we're going to get. That city has a little bit of a loyalty problem. I'm just going to pick Amani up from Brussels. She's not really doing anything there at the moment. That'll just hold the loyalty of this city for a second whilst I build the wonders and things. Actually, do we get, let's get the harbour sorted in this city first. That'll be useful. And we'll get the third charge of Hercules over here. There's the commercial hub. There is the, oh, the market. I can't afford the market. Quick, sell some Sell some promises to people. I'm sure people will eat those up. Yes, they did. Lovely stuff. Now the promises have been sold. There's the market and we're going to get a trade route to Geneva from one of these cities. That'll be nice. Oh, that's a problem. Greece is deciding to just cut me up and go for the southern tip of Italy. Now I do have a settler on the way, which is a little bit unfortunate, but they are just moving quicker than me at the moment. And that's my own fault, industrialization. I rushed that one just a tad early. I thought this city would get to 10 pop before that point, but it has just unlocked a little bit of coal for me here. And as long as I've got some coal, that's all I need. I don't have any iron or anything else. Look, there's a coal on this island there, some coal on that tile. So I've got two sources just in Italy and there's some on the Sicily as well. So that's three whole sources for me. But, 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 Greece is going to be a problem here. I need to put some severe loyalty pressure on this area. Um, what's the quickest way to get there? It's still telling me to go through my own land in this direction. So we'll do that. But, oh, yeah, I need roads. I need roads everywhere. And by that, I mean, you know, like roads you walk on rather than roads the place. Like, I think that's fairly clear. Diplomatic service. Okay, perfect. Let's go for this old bank in. Gives me just a little bit more production and food on my route to Bologna. Nice. Okay, 10 pop. That's all I need to get to in this city. 10 pop and I can get myself a factory and a coal power plant over there. Every time that I get myself an envoy and I've already suzerain of Bologna, I get 100 faith and 100 faith is good because it helps me to just boost myself along to getting Anansai again. Saivia, nine cities again. Ottomans are on 13. I think that may be the most at the moment. I was just checking in on everybody. Oh yeah, the Ottomans are doing great. Really, really good. I really want to see what's going on in their empire. Anansai back. Uh, the reason I want them in is four charges, four charges, six charges. So that's worth about 600 uh, no, 700 science and about 650, 660 culture. Well worth it. Plus, I can steal things from people like Macedon. They've denounced me. Boo. Okay, well, we can't go and do that. But who else can we go and steal from? I think we're going to go and steal from France. Why not? Trade route to Geneva. Again, we want to get that back on side. But this road, look at that. That is a nice road. It helps me to just sort of move some settlers over into this direction now, which is all, all that I really needed. The source of coal, again, is just more stuff that I can flog on a turn-to-turn -turn basis, which makes it all the better for me. There's a lighthouse. It's another trade route. We're up to four now. It's all good. What I am doing as well is just clogging up the landing zone of this area. Hopefully I can stop people from settling on it full stop. See if that works. I'm not entirely sure that's going to work, but we'll, we'll give it a good go. Evangelize the belief. What's left? Quite a few things are left. Actually, that's really handy. Let's have a quick look and have a tiny peek. See what we can find ourselves. I think the stupa, yeah, plus one amenity. I just, I love this in wide empires. It makes such a huge difference. I think we're going to go for that. Unless we want to go for the derasar, which is a little bit more food and production, but no, the stupa. It's got to be the stupa. Perfect. Right. Just to find some faith city states. That would be. That would be handy. Oh, this is the Nile, by the way. The you see, the Nile has been transformed into a sea so that you can sail down it. Like, it's not ideal, 
obviously, but it's it's good fun. Oh, 10 turns and I have no era score. What have I been doing this era? I've just been sat on my butt, I think, just chilling. And that's uh, that's fine. It's not very helpful though. Okay, right, well, we're not gonna go, well, we're not gonna get anywhere near Sprawling Empire because the Ottomans have got so many cities. I think we've gotta go to war soon. Maybe Greece, Gorgo is probably not a bad idea. We've got a lot of trade routes with Gorgo and lots of gold, but I mean, if I can pick up some ironclads, which I'm not far off actually, I could just march in and go kaboom and just destroy their cities easily. Very easily. I think that's not a bad idea. Rome, Italy attacking Greece historically. I mean, you know, we've seen weirder things happen. <laughs> it's kind of, kind of historic. But on turn 119, whilst we're sitting here, we're doing fine. Like we're in second on science and I think it's probably Babylon's in the game. I can't remember if Babylon's in this map, but if they are, it's kind of what's happening. Steam power, I'm just boosting to railroads because I quite like that, but flight we're not far away from and I could just see myself just sailing into Europe at some point and just really enjoying myself, really having a laugh. Could be fun. Could also build Kilwa if I wanted to, just saying. It would be quite difficult to do it, but I would give me 15% extra science across my empire if I can keep Geneva on side, which, eh, spoilers, I can. Huzzah! 254 science per turn now. Yeah, well, I mean, there are options here. There are lots of options pulling me in different directions. I think war has got to come at some point, but it's just which style of war. I think an ironclad-led war against Greece and Greece I've got to be the two options for me here. Are my friends of other Greece? I'm not friends of other Greece at all, actually. So I could go, I could just, I could just unify Greece. Not a bad idea. I think I might do that. Yeah, okay. Well, let's save some gold up. That's what my gold is going to be spent on. It's just purchasing ironclads from scratch. In order to get a golden age, though, that is a very good question. How do I do that? What have I not done so far? Splendid Industrial Zone. Splendid Theatre Square. Okay, Splendid Holy Site. Can't get that one. Splendid Commercial Hub. Oh, that's so annoying. Religion adopts all beliefs. Okay, that one's good. And an Inquisition. That's like four. So we could do that. I'm going to get the one for getting a population 10 city hero departed um that would be something new civic of, of era first core first tier three government first railroad connection oh railroads railroads are always a useful thing but this is actually quite a handy thing well we know that that's at least a thing so let's get the apostle going we can lead the inquisition see if we can boost ourselves boost ourselves right up to the glories of a golden age. I really want that, especially if I'm going to war. We don't really want to be fighting in a dark age if we can help it. It's voting time or not. Apparently we're voting to see whether my display device is up to date. Yay. There we go. Success on the second attempt. Huzzah. I would love it if I got fewer grievances. That would be awesome. I'd also like it if I could produce units with half the gold. Now, if that goes through, we're going to be laughing because we were just about to build some ironclads. Alas, no, it is not. That is a shame. But what we can do is make sure we are civicking up to exploration quickly. Let's get mercenaries and then we can get exploration after that because means we can unlock the policy card that lets us build ironclads even faster than we are at the moment. There we go. Brussels, get back on side. I oh, thank you so much. I think I might have just ruined someone's war plan then, but never mind. What's happening over here? So, okay, England, Eleanor, has managed to go across to Liverpool uh, onto the continent, which is relatively amusing. It looks like, oh, Eleanor is about to lose her city to Eleanor. Oh, stay tuned for riveting, riveting combat reports. That's insane. Actually, the average populations, apart from a couple of cities down in the French heartland, are very low in Europe. Very low. Yeah, I think very low population. I was worried that it was just me that wasn't getting like a lot of population out of my cities, but no, I think it's generally happening everywhere at the moment. How weird. Evangelize belief. What can we do? Production towards holy sites and buildings. That's always really fun with the Pope. But, but, I don't think that's what we should be doing. I think, should we do Crusade? I think we should do Crusade. I think it's the, it's the most Popey thing to do, isn't it? To sponsor a Crusade and then to go. I mean, admittedly, I don't think I should be the one Crusading. I think I should be telling other people to go and Crusade. But still. It's relatively amusing. I was also just thinking, actually, we can get a new city on another continent. Um, France have just settled right by where I was going to settle over there, which is a bit annoying. Uh, I think they were doing it to get another continent as well. But uh, I could go to Africa and I could make that, because this is all Southern Europe, I could actually settle quite nicely 
uh, either in that direction. That would be that would be fun. Wouldn't that be fun? I think that would be fun. Can I settle there? No, I can't settle there. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go and try and send a settler to Africa. This is going to go horribly wrong because we're going to get killed by barbs, but we'll, we'll see what we can do. There is the 10 population it era is score. There the is steam race. power. Okay. Now, I don't have any encampments and annoyingly my cities are massively at the moment struggling with the capacity to build more districts. Population is my problem. Feed the world could possibly have been a very good idea, but never mind. It's fine. Ironclads. Ironclads are going to be expensive, I would assume. 1,500. Oh boy. That is expensive. I was right to assume can build them at double pace. Don't think it's going to be great for me. I'm going to have 34 turns there. Oh, oh, oh. That's why there's only 3.5 production in that city. Okay, Caravel in four turns. That's a bit better. Um, okay, yeah, sorry. I know that I was building, getting builders done in this city, but we're going to have to just get some Caravels rocking fast. That'll be nice. Um, Castel, oh yeah, this is a good city as well. I was building a shipyard. What am I going to prioritize? Do we go for an encampment in order to get military engineers to try and build a railroad? Feels like that's quite tight on timings. Oh, that's too many uses of my gold. That's the problem. I can't even get a very good adjacency industrial zone. I was thinking actually if I could get a decent industrial zone that I might have been able to just like get the era score for that. I'm just trying to think of a commercial hub. No, we need plus four on that one. Theater square is unlikely to make a difference. Dams, I think I do get, oh, I don't remember about that one. Let's levy some units from Geneva. Should we do that? That might get us some era score for doing it for the first time. City state armies. Yep, yep. Okay, that gives one era score. So that's fine. How many have I got to do in eight turns? I've got to get 14 more era score. That's not as impossible as I feared it might be. Could get Marco Polo. He's pretty cheap, actually. He's very cheap and it'll give me another trade capacity. Or I could go for an engineer and try and get wonders in. I think building faith is going to be a much more important use here than going for an apostle. So there is a galley. Galleys are not good. Okay, I'm just going to use my archer to go and explore down south. Oh, there's a lot of ships down there. Okay, right. We have the movement advantage, but we don't want to get caught out here. The Dead Sea and Jerusalem. <gasps> oh my god, it's Jerusalem. I really need to be friends with them. I have so many holy sites. Okay, right. That, that will be a priority for, like, soon. But I found the Dead Sea as well. That's really cool. Oh, it's also got that glitch, actually, where... It's put a lake on top of the Dead Sea. It shouldn't give you fresh water, but that will be giving fresh water because they've put a lake on it. It's like sometimes the map script can get a bit confused with these European maps where you're trying to force all of these things into like a TSL location. It's odd when it happens, but it is also very funny. Babylon, right, oh, just met somebody. Good, 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 good. That's another era score. And hopefully we can keep on meeting people in that direction. Uh, have I, got, I think I've unlocked embassies, actually. So if I go and send them an embassy, there's a chance I'll discover some other stuff in that area. Where are they? Over here. No, nothing else in this area. Unless, but is that somebody else in that direction? Might be. They might be settled next to somebody else, actually. Mercenaries. Mercenaries. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Anything else? Merchant Confederation gives me a bunch more gold, actually. That's really handy. Let's put that instead. Of, oh, no, Diplomatic League. Hang on, hang on. I had one to give to Jerusalem, and boom, that's already worth 10 extra faith. <gasps> a city. I'm going to keep it. I'm not. There's no way in hell I'm going to be able to keep it, but that gives me two error score. That's basically three era score. Look at that. And it's actually loyal to me as well. That's the crazy thing. Okay, well, brilliant stuff. We'll I'll have to send a trader back home to, to keep that one happy, but it's my first foray into proper Europe. Here is my first unit made with coal. That should give me an era score as well. Yeah, and the first person to do it as well. Two era score rather than one. Nice, nice. I think this is pretty much all of Italy, mainland and settled. And now there's a couple of little points that you could in theory put a city on, but my borders should spread to those areas pretty fast. Let's just quickly start to uh, chop everything down in this area that I could possibly want. Gorgo is currently at war with Macedon and it looks like Macedon is actually starting to do some damage to them. I'm just going to ask for open borders quickly. One gold. Yeah, go on, man. I want to see what's happening here. Yeah, look, Macedon have an army around my Sene. Okay, that's not, it's not ideal for my purposes because I want to be the one that takes this city, ideally. Am I being really immature by pillaging all of the road between the Francis just because it's in neutral territory? Yes, 
Am I going to do it anyway? Yes. <laughs> It's so, so immature. What's going to happen is later I'm going to be attacking that area and it's going to come back to haunt me, I can just tell. Now, Marco Polo I think is quite useful here, but I'm thinking, do I go for Theodore to rush for a wonder first? What is the best result here? Can I build the mausoleum? Is the mausoleum still in the game or has it been built? For once, it has been built. Okay, so basically we get to pick a single wonder, Kilwa. It's got to be Kilwa really, isn't it? Kilwa is a fantastic wonder and I love it dearly. It would help me just give me so much more science per turn. So, okay, right, let's stop building those ironclads for a second. I've got a turn or two more. I'm in a Seador. We can just rush him in. Hopefully we can get that finished in time. Hopefully. Four turns, eight era score. So two per turn. It's very possible. And my Sene has left itself open. I think this is it. This is the opportunity we were looking for here. Now, the question is who dislikes? Okay, lots of people dislike Corgo. Can we get a military? alliance with our actual military ally hang on gorgo yes not taking any joint war bugs we're going straight in on it i'm going to lose some gold per turn for doing that and some science per turn so we need to make this as quick as we can but what i'm going to do now is just off camera i'm going to go and just see how many people I can get involved in this war. I managed to get five people involved. Uh, Egypt, Dido, Babylon, Gr other Greece, and Serbia. So, 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 so. I have Hercules. He has 17 turns left on him and 62 melee strength. It's quite strong. More importantly, though, I have this ironclad that can 73 strength hit the city, which I'm going to do immediately. Bam. Military engineering boosted. Uh, keep the city. Yes, I have 11 turns. Oh my lord, that is much better than I thought it would be. Right, Armani, you, I really want you in Jerusalem. That would be a good place for you to be. But that city is now somehow, somehow loyal already. And 73 strength means that it's unlikely to get stolen from me as well, which is good. Now, I believe um, Corinth, uh, not Corinth, um, Sparta is going to be over in the south there. I don't know whether it's got walls. So we need to go and have a quick peek. Levied Bologna. That's one more era score. And I think we're at war with Venice now. Oh, that's disappointing. How many people are influencing Venice? Lots of people, but Gorgo is by far the most. So if we can just get rid of Gorgo, it's going to make our lives a lot easier. A lot easier. This is my first city on Africa. I think it's not the most ideal point, but it does give me two era score. And that is the important thing. Um, I don't even need to build ancient walls because there's no way that men at arms is getting in. That's great. Perfect. So a few people are going to denounce me now because this is my first sort of offensive war. I can't, you know, be blamed for going for this opportune attack. I mean, they were just literally open. The Pope. The Pope needs to get involved in these occasions. There is a Theodore. Just by getting him in gives me three error score because I didn't have anywhere near enough points to get him in. But that's good. 205 faith per turn. That's really good, actually. Really handy. Sparta has no walls. Hercules, get in. Oh, the city's already sieged as well. That is the best news. Now, I don't think I can get through around the back, actually. So... The ironclad is not going to be very helpful here. I can take out this city on an island. How many cities have they got? Three. One, two, three. So Corinth's walls are a little bit of a problem, but it's okay because we can just move our boat round in the turns. 21 turns of loyalty in this city. What's the strongest troop I can get in? Swiss Guard. 50 melee strength. Of course. That's the golden age, isn't it? That's the golden age. So do I do it now or do I do it later? That's enough catapults here, but I don't think I could move my troops through, ideally. It's really Hercules has got to be the one to do this. So they're doing the sensible thing of attacking Hercules here. That doesn't help my cause at all. Yes, you can have him board us with all that gold. Of course you can. Doesn't help my particular attack there, because I want Hercules to be able to sort of take the city down by himself. And unfortunately, walls are being formed. So this is a limited time Gosh. attack. So what I'm going to do is just upgrade to a crossbow so that when I build ancient walls I can crossbow attack that warrior means that in a second turn I can double attack and I would quite like to get like a knight round ideally I have, have I unlocked knights I have I just don't know what iron is that's fine I, I was like what on earth is iron who sells iron the cheapest oh yeah 151 for 50 of the stuff done in fact actually i don't even need all that how if i sold 30 iron what could i get for that i could get 
More than I just sold. Oh yeah, I just sold 18 of it. That's a profit. That is some wheeler dealer stuff going on there. So there is, where's the knight? Where is it? There it is. Bam. That's another point for getting an iron based troop, but I can go one, two, three foot and rush around the back of Sparta. Still do damage to it. Keep the pressure on. This is fine. So they moved their troop away. They moved their troop away. They knew. They knew what was good for them. That is fantastic. Sparta is still on the ropes. <sighs> this is going to be the tricky, tricky, tricky city. But my knight, I think, has the movement to sort of come around the back like so. Military science got boosted just by doing that. That's lovely. It gives them something else to focus on. Sparta, oh yeah, it's still getting hit. Still getting hit badly. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get the golden age, but actually, oh no. Oh. Ooh, I didn't realize it was down to one turn there. Oh, that could have been, that could have been a mistake. Okay, right, hang on. Let's just sell my stuff quickly. I'm going to need as much upfront gold as we can get. Okay, now, can I just like buy a horse? Horsey boy? Horseman? 320. I've got no horses. What are horses? Nobody knows what horses are. They appear in fields and stop you building campuses. But apart from that, 50 horses for 100 gold. Oh, come on. Now people are just taking the mick. That's great. Okay. Horsey, 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 horsey. Oh no, it's a courser. Damn. I've unlocked courses. Okay, right. Well, that's not going to work then. We need to do one other thing that generates us a point. Just a single era score. I think I can take another city down in the south. Does that count as getting an era score? I'm pretty sure it won't, but it's worth having a check. Let's uh, keep it. Nope, that doesn't matter. Okay, that's fine. Fortunately, I haven't got any courses belli that I can declare on people, so that's not a thing. We had one more luxury to sell. So I can do that. That gets me to 600 gold. Just a couple more open borders and that's good. That takes me to 670. Unbelievably, some people want the horses that I've just bought. That works. That puts me to 800. I believe I can now buy a Corsair. Is that right? Yeah, 800 gold. I could get the Swiss Guard as well, but I haven't had a horse unit just yet. So let's do that. There's the other score. 108 Golden Age. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> there are moments where I play this game and it's like, it's very squeaky close and I'm like, oh, I don't actually know if we're going to pull this one off. But we did. Luckily, we did. So luckily, uh, Sparta is attacking other Greece. So it's a Pericles Gorgo match off that's causing the issues at the moment. The only problem is they've actually lost the siege on the city, which is a bit frustrating because I need that siege. That siege is very important. Don't attack my pike and sh oh, my, my men at arms. That's a bit frustrating. Um, this is oh, it's healed a little bit. Oh, that's frustrating. Them. Right, exploration. That gives me a better policy card. Whereas at press gangs, that helps me to produce ironclads faster. We like ironclads because they are made of iron and they are clad in dreams. Merchant confederation goes in there, and then we're going to go for colonial officers there as well. It gives me a bunch more gold. Okay, right. Golden Age. What is everybody in? Um, everyone's kind of in a better age than they were before, but targets for loyalty are Byzantium, Egypt, Babylon, Scotland, and Scythia. Nobody that I am near, unfortunately. Now, reformer coinage often isn't very good with owls, because you don't mind your traders being plundered. As long as you remake them, you can get more envoys out of them, so that can often be a good thing, but you do get more gold for the trade routes themselves, so it's a bit win and a bit loss. I think we will go monumentality though. I think actually finally using my faith to do some useful things with in terms of building my empire up, that's got to be a thing. Now, um, I think that should be the city. Oh, it's not. That's unfortunate. Okay, well, we'll just keep pulling my units through and see if we can just keep putting the pressure on Sparta. I think I should be able to do it. It's just frustrating that didn't work for me. Kilwa though. We got Kilwa. Plus three envoys when built. That gives me Jerusalem. We also get a nice 15% boost to this city for, I think, what have we got? We've got science, we've got faith, and we've got production. Very nice. And we get 15% across my empire for science because I have two science city-states. Isn't that lovely? Um, Jerusalem, one, two, three. I don't have any for stupas at the moment, but Jerusalem is now so close to being God. Oh, Hercules survived. That is ridiculous. If that is true, I might be able to actually take Sparta. It just depends 
if other Greece moves their units in to blockade the city. I don't think they did do, unfortunately. That is slightly unfortunate, but what are you going to do? Oh, the ecstaticness of all my cities is worn off, though, unfortunately. Alas, we own too many now, and <laughs> everything's just falling down. Nobody's as happy as they used to be. War, war sucks, but everyone, everyone's happy. They're just not ecstatic. Come on, Hercules. How many? You've got no more y charges, so I might as well just throw you in. Oh, he fell in battle. Boo! Okay, well, you know, there you go. Um, oh, unfortunately, the Corsa can't come through. Oh, man, I should have moved that through because Himiko could have come in first. Oh, you numpty. Never mind. Oh, Sparta just put a wall up. That is frustrating. Oh, we were doing so well. So well at just sort of springing that attack on. It got to one garrison health. One garrison health before we mucked that up that is spectacular okay right well in that case um two are passing by yeah gone. that's fine that's fine we lost bat city that's it was a rubbish city don't worry we don't mind yep sparta is now very defended indeed okay right well you know what? i'm gonna pull, pull my units back a little it's fine it's fine we're gonna leave sparta alone i have kind of enjoyed that little fight that was that was great uh do i try and take corinth now just kill some kill some units quickly come on why not we don't like military emergencies three votes down on that it might go through it might go through no it didn't oh that's a good thing i kept hold of that because greece had five votes but macedon really didn't want to do it next to me and pericles voted against it as well Aha, useful very useful we're now getting a lot more niter in per turn. Turns out there was a bunch in the south of Italy, which is lovely. Very good. Um, I think I quite like to move this knight through. And as I say, the men at arms is going to be very useful for me with the siege tower. That's really good. Move yourself through. We're going to make that an attack on Sparta soon. Very soon. That like speaking of. Hercules, 76 strength. Do you want to pop back into the fight? I uh, feel like you have unfinished business here. Mr. Corsa, just get in the sea and I will move Hercules through. He's going to go from zero to hero here. It's going to be fantastic. Oh yeah, look, he's got the attack. He's got the attack. It should be fine. Uh, now, I believe Corinth should be taken on that attack, but I'm going to just see if I can sync it up with the attack on Sparta. Not far now from Liberalism, which is another favourite policy card of mine. Fingers crossed we'll pick that up soon. I really need to start getting some industrial zones sorted. I've got uh, Castel is about to build one, which is good. I think Rome, I'm going to treat it to a couple more traders with Visselbank and get a route to Geneva going, get a route to Valletta going, hopefully. All those things are going to be delightful and we will start to get Rome's population up to 10. Yeah, aqueducts, that sounds good. Industrial zones, again, all sounds good. I just need the power on, I need the production on. All of the good stuff, really. So I've just put this little sneaky Sicilian city to hit, just to basically put Macedon under a lot of pressure. They were losing the city anyway, and now that I've got a city here, ho 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 ho, there's no way, there's no way they'll be able to hold on to it. So that's all very exciting. Here we go. Hercules is going to hopefully finish this city off very quickly now. Portugal. Now I was looking for Portugal. They were always going to be a little crazy on this map, just given because any map with lots and lots of people on Portugal tend to do well. But yeah, North Africa, they have settled it. I have just seen there is a city over here, potential city with three sources of coal. That is something I need to go and make sure that I just save for myself. But yeah, good to know that Portugal exists. Good to know that they hopefully should be pretty good trading partners. I'm hoping the unification should all happen in one go. There is Sparta. Okay, good. That's a lot of boosts as well, which is awesome. There is Corinth, which knocks Sparta out of the game. Scotland's happy that we're no longer at war with anybody. Good old Scotland. And this is this city down in the south as well. So hopefully, if we've done this right and we've waited nicely, yeah, all three cities are very happy all at the same time. Good, 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 good. We like that. There's also another couple of harbours built and ready with some trading hubs going. Look, two lighthouses that I've captured so far. That is amazing. We like that a lot. Mid Arabia. There's a lot of people above 100 science per turn. There's a lot of people ah. doing very well in this game. People are going to denounce me, but now that Geneva's ability should kick in, you can see I am above 300 science per turn it makes a big old difference people want to sell me epics i mean admittedly for my own epics i like the epic of hercules i think it's a pretty good read it's good 
from start to finish. Although I've never read the book, I've only ever seen the Disney adaptation, so that's always a problem. But Greece, 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 547 military strength. It's uh, pretty brutal. Pretty brutal, but Athens and some island cities are all that stand between me and unifying Greece, which would be quite fun to do. Would it take two gold to go and have a look at your land, you say? Well then, let's go have a sneaky peek. Oh my god, I haven't been using Anasa at all. Whoopsie. Never mind. Um, there's flight. Yeah, we're going to start boosting towards flight. This is really handy. Flight, radio, advanced flight. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. This is all wonderful. Ironclad, just go and go and see what Portugal and Spain have been up to. Look, Porto. Oh yeah, Portugal's really been creeping along the coast. I have got to run down here. There's a settler that's just about to jump into the sea. Good, right. You get down here nice and quickly because I need this land. That's awesome. Oh, Greece just denounced me. That's made a lot easier because if there's anybody they'd already denounced that I'm allied to, I can just declare a joint war on them immediately now. I haven't even got to wait the five turns. That is very handy indeed. Perfect. Uh, aerodromes are now unlocked. Huzzah! That's what we wanted to see. We like it a lot as I wait for my cities to be able to build them. Radio, four turns. Let's unlock the aluminum, the aluminium, the owl... Alamunum, <laughs> however you want to say it. Oh, more city-states, more city-states. Okay, we just met Granada and Fez. Fez is another scientific city-state that would make our universities and our libraries even better. Wonderful. Granada lets me build Alcazars and would make the set so that all of my cities have 15% when producing units. All look good, to be fair. All look very good, but we'll have to just sort of wait and see which one is the most the highest priority for myself. Workshop is now in this city up to 42 production already. Yes. So if we have a look into the relationships that Greece has with everybody, you'll see again my military ally doesn't like them. So will you join in with a joint war with me against Pericles? Of course they will. Of course they will. Let's do it. Let's do it. Just a straight up joint war. Again, I'm just going to spend a little bit of time going through all my contacts and asking everybody that knows Greece whether they want to join in with the war. A lot of people will. A lot of people won't. It's fine. We'll just we'll just go through. This time, literally nobody wanted to join. No worries. That is fine. Let's just pray into existence all of my ancient walls so that all of my cities have a nice defensive ranged attack. And I've just noticed that Sparta has an armory. That's cool. That's really cool. Okay, fix the art museum and then get making some military engineers for me. I've been desperate for these for some time now. So making a slam dunk attack on Athens is going to be one of the most important things I can do. So already I've got the ironclad in range. Hercules is going to come through next turn and you can see I've already got the um, siege tower involved so that is going to work nicely. This ironclad is just going to sort of skip through and start attacking some of the boats just to clear some of those off me. Himiko go and help Hercules. This courser actually can go and just sort of be annoying I guess. Is that, that's a military tactic, just to be annoying. I guess it would be called like harassing, wouldn't it, rather than just being annoying. There's a settler, which is nice. There's killing units that are embarked as well. Perfect. My ironclads are so technologically superior to Greece that we're going to have a lot of success here, I hope. Okay, Hercules, on to this tile you come. Good. It is an amphibious attack. They're not going to enjoy that too much, but that's fine. I don't, I don't mind doing that a little bit. Ironclad can join in on the action, and we just need my corset to run around and see if we can see Jaffins nicely. Radio. Now, it says we have four aluminium coming in already per turn. That is under a field. We like being under fields that is under oh my word my holy site so this little tip this very 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 highly profitable little tip of italy has been hugely important and then oh i've sat on some as well what what luck there we go so we have at least four coming in per turn that means we can rush advanced flight it is absolutely going to be worth it very good i believe that is athens oh no no we didn't take it what about the corsa yes that's better. Okay, cool. Right, Athens has been taken and it is loyal. We've taken pretty much Greece and the heartlands. Macedon probably owns a little bit of what we would refer to as modern day Greece or certainly the sort of North Macedonia area, but we'll come, we'll come and take that over soon. That's fine. Oh, I like it when there are loads of city-state trade routes for you to engage in, each one giving you just another bite, another bite 
of food and production and gold and, yes, swelling my city to unfathomably large heights. It's great. It's wonderful. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Matthew Wilkinson, Salty Tech, Devil X, Doughboy91, Skeptical Bear, Paul Coffee, Kroger Brand Trail Mix, Alex Noob, Cinnamon Beard, Portland, Petra Ryan, Matthew Hatch, Nim, and Emir EC. Thank you for all of your support as well as everybody who interacts with the channel and helps me to defeat the algorithm. Good for you, good for me, see you all later.